Hi there. Welcome to Remarkable Top 5. Join me as we explore the world's most fascinating and amazing top 5 lists. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get started. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to Remarkable Top 5 where we dive deep into the most annoying phrases that make us want to scream our heads off. Today, we're going to be counting down the top five most cringeworthy expressions that you heard so many damn times, you probably want to throw up every time someone says them. I mean, come on, can we all just stop using these phrases already? It's like at the end of the day, who really gives a flying forget about it? It's time to move on and start using some original words for once. So get ready to roll your eyes and grit your teeth, because we're about to unveil the top five most overused phrases that make us want to barf. And trust me, you're going to hear some real gems today. So sit back, relax, and let's get this countdown started. Starting at number five, we have, it is what it is. Wow, what a profound statement. I mean, I'm blown away by the sheer depth of that insight. It's just like saying that things are exactly how they are and there's nothing we could do about it. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where somebody made you the Dalai Lama of apathy? Oh, you stubbed your toe? It is what it is. You lost your job? It is what it is. What? Your spouse left you for your best friend? <laughs> it is what it is. I don't like how this phrase could be used to dismiss any sort of problem or setback in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like a get out of jail free card for emotional numbness. But hey, who needs to strive for better when you could just throw in the towel and accept mediocrity, man? Right? Who needs to work towards a brighter future when you could just resign yourself to the crushing weight of the present? So the next time you're faced with a challenge in life, just remember, it is what it is, and there's nothing you can do about it. Coming in at number four, we have, that's just how it goes. The ultimate cop-out phrase when people don't want to put any effort into actually fixing a problem. What happened? Your life is falling apart? Your job sucks? Your relationship is a disaster? Well, tough luck, buddy. That's just how it goes. It gets you stuck in this crappy situation forever. Oh, and let's not forget how this phrase is used to shut down any sort of debate or discussion. You want to try to find a solution to a problem? Sorry, that's just how it goes. You want to challenge the status quo? Nope, that's just how it goes sometimes. You want to make any sort of positive change in the world? Sorry, buddy, that's just how it goes. I mean, come on, people. Is this really the best we can do? Can we at least try to make things better instead of just accepting the status quo? I don't know, I guess that would require actual effort and a willingness to take risks. So I guess in the meantime, we'll just keep repeating. That's just how it goes until we're all buried six feet under. Moving on to number three on our list is, it's not rocket science. Uh, I mean, is there anything more obnoxious than hearing someone say that? It's like they think they're so smart and everyone else is a complete moron. Well, newsflash, buddy. Just because you know how to put together a basic Ikea shelf doesn't make you a freaking rocket scientist. Oh, and let's not forget how this phrase is used to make others feel stupid. What? You mean to tell me you don't know how to do that? You know it's not rocket science, right? Thanks for the reminder that we're all just a bunch of simpletons compared to your genius level intellect, Captain Obvious. Maybe we should just all bow down to these rocket scientists and accept the fact that they're the only ones who truly understand the mysteries of the universe. Because who needs common sense or practical skills when you can just spout off meaningless phrases and just pretend that you're a genius? And moving on to number two, we have at the end of the day, which is the ultimate phrase for people who want to sound deep and philosophical, but they really have nothing meaningful to say. Because why bother with actual insights or a thoughtful analysis when you can just tack on this meaningless phrase at the end of a sentence? What happened? You spent all day procrastinating instead of doing your work? Hey, at the end of the day, you still got it done, right? What happened? You ate an entire pizza by yourself and you feel terrible now? Don't worry about it. At the end of the day, you'll just exercise tomorrow. It's not a big deal. I mean, who needs accountability or personal responsibility when you have this magical phrase to absolve you of any wrongdoing? And remember, at the end of the day, it can be used to justify just about anything. You didn't get that promotion you wanted? Don't worry about it, because at the end of the day, it's not about the title or the money. It's about the experience, right? What happened? You got caught cheating on a test? Don't worry about it. At the end of the day, you were just trying to survive in a cutthroat academic world, that's all. I mean, why bother with integrity or ethics when you can just fall back on this excuse? So the next time you hear someone say the words, at the end of the day, just remember, 
It's the ultimate cop-out for people who don't want to take responsibilities for their actions or words. And finally, at number one, we have, hey, you do you. I don't know. Ain't that the catchphrase for people who think they're being supportive but actually just want you to leave them alone? I mean, why bother actually helping someone when you can just toss out this meaningless phrase and go back to your own life? Oh, you're struggling with a decision? Well, you do you, buddy. I'll just be right over here not giving a damn. It's like saying, I don't care, but without actually saying it. But hey, you do you, right? Just don't expect me to be there to pick up the pieces when it all falls apart. And don't get me started on how people use this phrase to justify their own crappy behavior. Like, listen, I know I hurt your feelings, all right? But hey, you do you. Yeah, that's not how it works. You can't just act like a jerk and then brush it off with this half-ass excuse. But hey, what do I know? You do you. And that's a wrap on our top five list of the most obvious phrases that people love to say. Did we miss any? Don't worry about it. Let us know in the comment section below and don't be too shy now, all right? And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our remarkable top five videos. See you soon, folks. We're out of here.